Education indeed cannot be free. My name is Michael Matosho. I am a pharmacist, a philanthropist, and more importantly, a professional in politics. I repeat, education cannot be free at all levels. I say this because as a nation, everyone keeps clamoring for free education. But with all the other sectors needing so much attention, it is definitely not expedient to provide free education at all levels. For instance, in both the UK and in the US, Education is not free at the tertiary level. It will impress you that the average tuition of a student is about four to five million naira per annum when converted. Even for such developed countries, only a handful of the entire student population have access to scholarships, while the remaining majority rely on loans to go through college. With our teeming population where the greater majority are struggling to even remit their taxes, we still expect education for free at all levels. It is not immediately feasible. Make primary and secondary education free and compulsory for everybody. Two, subsidize tertiary education, particularly for the indigent students. These subventions are premised on tax remittances, especially from the private sector, so that it goes into a pool of resources to develop the public education system. It is also pertinent that we develop a work-study program as opportunities for indigent students to pay back loans and also as a means of self-sustenance while in the university. To grow a nation, we need an educated citizenry. Unfortunately, our educational sector has definitely suffered some setbacks and is going into a state of comatose. Here are some of my ideas on how to reform the education sector. First, we need to have a curriculum redevelopment. This will focus our curriculum away from theoretical to a more hands-on, practical and relevant theme where students and graduates can immediately begin to utilize what they have been taught in school. Two, teacher empowerment, training, retraining, and remuneration. The success of any economy is a function of the intellectual capacity of that nation. The teachers are entrusted with the responsibility of forming and molding the next generation. It is not a task to be left for just anybody or trifled with. Teachers, must be empowered, equipped, trained, and retrained again with the right skills and tools to carry out these assignments effectively. Three, exchange programs for cross-fertilization of ideas. It is obvious that the world is fast becoming smaller with the rise in technology. It is therefore important to keep up with a jet pace in this digital age. This will help the teachers face global challenges a lot better. And it also brings a balanced perspective on matters to the classroom. In conclusion, education cannot be free at all levels.